We just had our last Duo Cash Cup finals of chapter five. And once again, we saw something we've been seeing all year long, and that's Peterbot absolutely dominating finals. Peterbot and Bolts in their first finals together dominate from start to finish, winning the Cash Cup on 413 points. They averaged almost 10 eliminations a match, and in their six games, got a second place with 11 eliminations, a third place with 12 eliminations, a first place with 11 eliminations, another fourth place with 10 eliminations, a fifth place with 11 eliminations, and then in the last game, got an 11th with four eliminations. And in the last game, we actually had some bizarre things happening. An aimbotter dropped a 21 elimination win in the last game of the Duo Cash Cup Finals on an A. And in the first five games, he was nowhere to be found. But in the last game, he must have turned up all of his hacks all the way to the max and fully rage hacked the lobby on high ground. It was pretty insane to watch. And sadly, that's just the state of Fortnite competitive right now. And hopefully they get this cheater situation fixed going into OG because right now this is just insane. We have complete rage hackers dropping 20 elimination wins in cash cup finals lobbies and somehow they're playing the entire tournament now and never getting banned but moving on from the cheater stuff it's going to be pretty interesting to see moving forward what peterbot wants to do with his trio now that he's played with bolts and is dominated with him as well is he going to maybe form this fragging super team with both bolts and cold and the trio be peterbot bolts and cold and just be the best fighting trio of all time and nobody's ever going to be able to fight them mid game or is he going to keep playing with somebody like Buga or somebody maybe like Poyo that can tarp and is going to play more of a passive role? But I'm not sure what's going to happen. I don't really know if Peterbot's going to consider playing with Bolts. Let me know down below if you think he should consider playing with Bolts or maybe if you think he should consider playing with Poyo. If he were to split for trios with Buga and end up going the triple fragger route like he was first going to do. But overall this year, Peterbot has been absolutely insane in Cash Cup Finals. In Chapter 5, Peterbot won 11 of the 25 Duo Cash Cup Finals, which is absolutely insane. And overall, he got 14 top 3s in Duo Cash Cup Finals, as he also got 2 second places and a 3rd place. We're never going to see anything like this again. A lot of players still don't even have 11 Cash Cup Finals or anything close to that in their whole entire career. And Peterbot just did that in 11 months, which is absolutely insane and something we will never see again for sure. But moving on, now let's go over the top 10 of the NA Duo Cash Cup. We sadly once again had Rapid finishing behind Peterbot, this time with Poyo in second place, and they played very well in this tournament. They have an average placement of under four, but sadly, there's just no competing with Peterbot and Bolts with the level that they're playing on and with the situation they have with the Uncon Mythic Aug and the Uncon Scan Medallion. It's just too hard to compete with, but Rapid played absolutely insane this chapter and absolutely insane this season. And sadly, I think this season's kind of going to fly by a lot of people's radars. He had a very, very impressive season. And it's going to be exciting to see what he does moving forward going on into OG next season. Then next in third place, we had Aegers and Ritual on 330 points. A good performance out of them to finish off in duos. And they have actually been doing pretty good in trios as well. And I believe they're actually going to be playing with Re this weekend for the Trios Cash Cup. So we're going to have to see how that plays out for them. But a really solid performance from Aegers and Ritual. Then next in fourth place, we had Dukes and Acorn on 250 points. They got two wins and also a second place as well, but three early deaths really costed them in this tournament. They essentially had three very good games and three pretty bad games. So Dukes and Acorn basically get fourth place in just three games played, but nonetheless a pretty solid performance from them. Then in fifth place, we have the underrated duo of Polo and Craze on 226 points. And Craze is Oliver's former duo and also the player that played with Bucky when he got eighth in the first Trio Cash Cup. So Craze is kind of on the come up right now and cool to see him get top five. And he also was streaming this tournament. So super huge W for him getting top five while also streaming. Then in sixth place, we had Skittles and Kanata on 214 points. Kanata playing on high ping. He's in New York right now and Skittles we know plays on high ping as well. So them getting sixth place on high ping is pretty good and a pretty solid finish for duos for them. Then in 7th, we had Mero and Curly on 206 points. Like I said in yesterday's video, I would like to see Mero do good, bring that momentum in opens into the finals and do well. And him and Curly did just that, finishing 7th place. And they also did it while contested as well. So really solid performance getting 7th place while contested. Then in 8th place, we had Booga and Threats on 198 points. Booga and Threats went into the last game in top 5, but sadly died early. So they dropped down to 8th place. But nonetheless, pretty solid performance getting top 8. Then in ninth place, we have Victor V and Paper on 198 points. And Victor and Paper actually split a couple weeks ago after a duo Cash Cup Finals. But ended up getting back together. And it's good to see them in the top 10 again. 
And they also got top 10 while contested as well, just like Mero and Curly. And they were contested by potentially cheaters as well, but I'm not too sure if they were cheating. But either way, really solid performance getting 9th place for Paper and a pretty shambles tournament for them. Then rounding out the top 10, we have the EU duo of Scroll and Zany on 194 points. And Scroll actually won EU earlier today with Sky, his duo. So really solid day for Scroll, getting first on EU and also getting top 10 on an A. And Scroll is going to be one of the players to look out for on EU moving into next season. He qualified to land from EU this year. And I think he's going to emerge as one of the better players on EU moving into next year. Potentially one of the best players on EU as well. But we'll just have to see how that goes. But moving on, I want to talk about a couple underperformances. And these are two teams I actually predicted in yesterday's video. Two top five. The team I had in fourth place and the team I had in fifth place. We have Aviv and Ree in 20th place and Muzz and Rise in 28th place. Both of them just had one of those tournaments where it's pretty much a go next to a lot of different factors. And it happens sometimes. Definitely not the placement neither of them wanted. But at least duos is over now. Now they can look forward to trios. And speaking of trios, Fortnite actually moved the trio cash cups and the reload tournaments once again because tomorrow will be the update for the event. They're going to be putting the event into the files and also potentially the new reload leak that they talked about a couple days ago as well. But the trio cash cups that were supposed to be tomorrow and Saturday will now both be on Saturday on every single region. Then the squad's reload cash cup and the platform reload cash cups will be moved to next week on Tuesday. And the comp schedule for the rest of the season will be that there will be no tournaments tomorrow on Friday. Trio cash cups round one and two on Saturday. Nothing on Sunday. Then the rescheduled squad's reload and platform reload tournaments from a couple weeks ago on Monday. Then on Tuesday, the squad's reload and platform reload tournaments that are supposed to be tomorrow. And then the 30th and the 31st, we have the rescheduled trio cash cups on Middle East, NA, Brazil. And then on Thursday, we have Middle East, EU, Brazil, and NA finals of the rescheduled trio cash cups from a couple weeks ago. So we still have some tournaments to end the year. We still have another week of Siphon as well, remember? So we're gonna get to see the last Siphon play out on Wednesday and Thursday next week in the trio cash cups. But as always, to always be caught up to date on anything Fortnite competitive related, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to always be caught up to date. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it as well so it can get pushed out to more people. That's going to do it for me in this video, guys. My last Duo Cash Cup recap of Chapter 5. And I hope you enjoyed all my videos throughout Chapter 5, making recaps and also making news. And we're going to be moving on to OG soon. Hopefully, OG brings lots of content we can make and also lots of recaps I can make as well. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. That's going to do it for me in this video, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.